Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the first video I am filming with my new camera. It's a Canon EOS 90D. Very nice camera, although I'm waiting for a microphone to come, so I'm recording the audio that you're hearing after the fact, which I don't like doing. I like to talk while I'm filming, so this will be what it is. And it is a review on the 30 centimeter Godzilla 1984 Sakai. It's an absolute masterpiece, and I'm so glad it's here. This is the Godzilla from my childhood. When I was about five years old, I saw this movie. It had a big impact on me. Saw it on VHS in the 80s. And I do have the older version, a 30 centimeter X plus. 84 85 Godzilla and this one is a more recent one and it was sculpted by Yuji Sakai and it's a lot more aggressive and to me just a lot more accurate looking I love the detail on this and I was putting off getting it for a couple of weeks but after I watched enough videos on YouTube I finally broke and decided to get it and it was thanks to someone on the X plus Godzilla group on Facebook I put a little feeler out to see if anyone had this and if they'd be willing to trade or sell it and someone got in touch very quickly and they sold it to me and it was brand new never opened so excellent if you're watching thank you very much i won't name you in case you don't want me to but it means a lot look at the amazing paint and sculpt on this i'll show you a comparison later on in the video between this one and the older version i love the coloring on this he's much darker and he's quite well lit here so just in regular kind of viewing on the shelf he does look more black which I love, it just makes him look more aggressive. And this is the front view. And I love the fangs at the front of the mouth there, the kind of furrow in the brow, just a very aggressive look. But now that I got this new camera, folks, I'm really enjoying it. I've still got a lot to learn. I'm waiting for a microphone to come and a tripod and a spare memory card, but I have everything I need to film and all that stuff's coming tomorrow probably anyway. So. I'm probably going to re-review a lot of things that mean a lot to me in the collection now that I have this camera because it just captures everything so true, like the colours are really, you know, you're seeing a really accurate representation, whereas when I used to film everything with my phones, you know, I was using a Samsung Galaxy uh, S20 for the last year or so, and then before that various other Samsung Galaxies, and before that Nokias and blah blah blah. But yeah, finally got a proper camera. Cost an arm and a leg, but it's an investment. And basically I had to do it because my Samsung Galaxy started playing up. And I was filming loads of clips when I'm doing reviews like this. And then when I put them onto the laptop, half of them weren't there anymore. Just They were there, but horrible distortion on the screen. Unusable footage. So had to go ahead and get myself a professional camera. And I hope you are going to enjoy all the future videos using it. Let me know what you think of the quality of the image in the comments. I mean, this looks gorgeous here. I love the detail on the paint around the eyes. The white of the eyes has the kind of vein work. The teeth are perfect. All the detail in the sculpt of his skin. His ears, which some Godzillas don't really have visible ears. But this one sure does, and I like it. You can see that kind of... Not so much blood, but I don't know if it's meant to be blood or just kind of some of his gum around the top of the teeth there. It's a nice little extra detail. But the eyes are fantastic. Everything about this, I will just, you know, spoiler alert, I think this is a 10 out of 10 and an 11 out of 10 piece. And definitely worth picking up if you're a Godzilla fan. I will be getting back to a lot of horror stuff, folks, don't worry. On a Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to do some 1-6 scale horror videos, so just in time for Halloween. But for the Godzilla fans out there, or for folks who have never collected Godzilla before, maybe you're going to get infected with my current obsession. You know, that's always good. A couple of my friends have, you know, they've gotten the bug from me, so that's good. <laughs> Thinking about you, Carl. But yeah, rotating base action here. His tail is very long. Now, this is what was putting me off getting him for a while, because on a shelf, that's only going to work sideways. You know, literally a complete profile side display. He's, his tail's just way too long to have him face in front on the shelf. Or you could just take the, sh the tail off, you know, and just kind of maybe leave it resting behind him and find a way to make it look like it's there, but not have it attached so that you can display it facing front. But it is what it is. It's just the nature of this beast. You know, they have long tails, and unless they sculpt it with the tail kind of going up in the air, it's not going to go on a shelf too well. 
but it just looks too good to not get as far as I was concerned. It's such a true accurate representation of that Godzilla I remember on VHS video when I was five years old. It's just beautiful to have this and the Yuji Sky sculpt is out of this world just like it was with Shin Godzilla and I'm very tempted to get the 2001 version uh, which the more I found out about that movie the more tempted I am and I'm probably gonna end up getting it and I'll talk more about that in the future but a very cool kind of zombie evil Godzilla that just reigns terror over Japan in that 2001 film I've seen clips I still need to watch the whole thing here is the older version on the right and the newer one on the left and my framed poster which I got on eBay recently because I just love that poster so much it's awesome that is the very cover that I saw as a child in on VHS in that mum and pop kind of local video shop that had the manky carpet and smelt funny all the horror movies that I used to pick up as a kid and look at the artwork on the front and the pictures on the back and freak myself out a thriller had just come out I remember the posters in the window and Nightmare on Elm Street 2 and all this cool stuff man just amazing times but yeah this older version still really good and I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep it or not now that I have this more updated one I have to mention I did heat up the mouth on this older one and close the mouth because it was wide open like it was roaring and I just thought it'd look a bit more aggressive if the mouth was, uh, mouth was a bit more closed so that's what I did might reopen it again now that I've got a closed mouth version on the left here but much darker paint, darker skin on the new version on the left, more of a lighter charcoal kind of grey on the right. They're both exactly the same height, it seems. Uh, completely different kind of tail situation. The newer one, the tail's going pretty much straight back. And the older one, the tail's kind of going up, so he displays more easily on the shelf, facing forward. And hands, arms, position, very similar on both. And it is supposed to be a guy in a suit, don't forget. I mean, it was Shin Godzilla in 2000... Oh, God, was it 16? I forget. Um, it might have been older than that. I forget. But yeah, Shin Godzilla was originally going to be... Well, we won't get into that. But basically, these old ones from the 80s and many in the 90s and even early 2000s, I think, uh, was always a guy in a suit. It was like the tradition, the way they did it. You know, so they've managed to capture that as well in both of these sculpts. You can kind of get, see the wrinkles in the suit as he's moving and walking around. So I love that about this. Everything's just captured so well. Uh, fins on the back. And because mine is the Rick version, the one on the left, it does actually light up. And I'm sorry I didn't film that for you. I probably will show you in a future video once I get a few more 30 centimeter Godzillas by X Plus. I'll do a big comparison video and just show you the whole collection and I'll show you stuff like that but there's plenty of videos it's it's been around a while so you can see the light up feature in various videos on YouTube here's the older head sculpt which still has a really good paint job teeth are done really well and the eyes were painted good but, but compared to that this is just so much more HD and real looking it really 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 looks like a shrunk down 1984 slash 85 Godzilla amazing the way the light bounces off the sculpt the color of the teeth the eyes uh, you can see the older one leans forward more, which I did try to fix. I remember heating up his mouth to close that. I remember bending his tail and getting that more upright. Uh, and I did heat up his ankles on the old one and try to get him to stand more upright. But I think over time he's just gone kind of back to normal. However, the mouth has stayed shut pretty much, which is interesting. Because I heated up parts of my X plus 30 centimeter Shin Godzilla to get his tail to come a bit closer to him. But that went back to normal after a while. So... But yeah, the head shape size looks a little bit bigger on the older one on the right. Here is three of my 30 centimeter X Plus Godzillas. And there's the 2014 version from Gareth Edwards movie. That's a really, really, really great piece right there. Check out the review if you haven't seen it. Beautiful detail, great pose. Everything about that is fantastic. Look at it. I love the way this camera captures colors so accurately. If it was the Samsung phone now, I'd have to keep messing around with settings, trying to get it to show you the true visuals of what I'm looking at in front of me. And here is Shin, the 30 centimeter Rick version, Yuji Sakai X Plus. An absolute grail, one of my absolute prized possessions in my collection. Very, very, very expensive, very stressful waiting for it to turn up. Came here, got sent back to Japan, came again, finally got it amazing piece now i did repaint the teeth because they were quite subtle but the sculpt was there but the paint on the teeth was just making them look a bit hidden 
so I still need to yellow the teeth to make them look more like his fingernails there you can tell there's a difference like the teeth are more white than his fingernails and toenails I will fix that I'm just not rushing it I'm gonna do like a yellow wash over the teeth but they definitely jump out more at you now which I love it just makes them look more aggressive so there's another little look at all three together beautiful pieces man it's very addictive but it's a great addiction I'm really having fun with the Godzilla stuff this little side profile of 1984 Yuji Sakai Godzilla next to Shin if you haven't seen Shin Godzilla yet do watch it let me know what you think if you haven't seen the 1984 version yeah you know I mean it's it's an old movie now it's <laughs> but for the charm you know of how it was done back then with building these miniature cities and having a guy in a suit trample through it and yeah, it's just really cool man i love it can't get enough godzilla right now it's nice even after all these years i've been doing this channel for i don't know maybe 16 years now i don't know it's a long time since 2007 like july 2007 um you know, I thought I, I couldn't really discover anything else that would excite me. I mean, I've done the Batman, I've done done all kinds of phases that I've gone through on this channel. Uh, obviously, big over the years recently, massively into horror, Michael Myers, all those guys in one six scale and NECA figures. And just randomly one night, I'm on my phone going down the rabbit hole and I watch a Shin Godzilla clip and it just starts the ball rolling. And here we are, you know, a couple of months later I've got quite a few Godzilla pieces this is the latest one thinking about getting that 2001 version by X plus the 30 centimeter and there's a few others catching my eye as well but it's space man I need to sell a lot of my stuff if I'm gonna keep this Godzilla thing up because I don't have anywhere to put them but we'll wrap up this review folks this is a 10 out of 10 it's a no-brainer if you like the look of it hunt it down on eBay or wherever you're gonna look try and get one because it is absolutely fantastic uh, but be warned it is addictive once you start getting into this Godzilla stuff there's a lot of them out there I mean there's so many versions of Godzilla since 1954 there's almost been like one every year <laughs> no I'm exaggerating but every time he looks a bit different so there's so many versions and X plus are killing it and SH Monster Arts and NECA and all these companies I'm really into the 30 centimeter X plus Godzilla figures specifically at the moment they really scratch the itch they're a great size amazing perfect representations drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight 333 for plenty of pictures and clips hope you enjoyed the video I'll be bringing you lots of new videos with the new camera I'm very excited let me know what you think of how it's looking I hope you're having a great October everyone take it easy see you soon bye bye